Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Practical IT React training. And on this one, we're going to continue from the previous video in that we're going to try to have the layout using the bootstrap on React. And I have already gone ahead and then tried to come up with a little bit of like the design that we're trying to come up with. And as you can see, this is more or less a typical kind of like the web page. Uh, on the top, we have like the a header. On the left, we might have like some of like the content. Mostly it's going to be just a link or some kind of like an advertisement. And on the main part, we can have like even more, which is the top part uh, and at the bottom, we can have like two columns. And at the bottom, we're going to have the, uh, the footer. So let's try to see how we can accomplish this thing using the bootstrap in React. And again, so for those of you who have a good understanding or a good um, experience on bootstrap, this should feel more or less at home for you. Let me fix this and I'll try to just mind. Uh, we're going to go back to the code that we had like earlier. And just as a reminder, we have like the button and the containers which are added over here. And what we need to do on this one, I'm going to uh, take you to the layout part of the, um, the React Bootstrap. And if you go to like on the top, you can type like the layout and then it's going to give you this one. Uh, so it is using like the basic grid system uh, with the flex box uh, and the container is going to be the top or the, the outer box uh, per se. And then there is going to be a column and a row. So if we go back to our drawing, then you can think of like this whole thing as, as a page and you can have like the whole page as one container. And inside that container, um, at least ideally, there are going to be three rows, like the first one and this whole thing as a second row and the last one as the third row. And when you are getting into the second row, then it's going to be further divided into two columns, the one that we see on the left and the one that we see like the wider area on the right. And even the, the wider area on the right, that you're going to see it that it has its own two boxes, uh, oh, sorry, two rows, the one on the top and the one on the bottom. And the bottom one is going to have like one row, but it's going to have like two columns. So you can see how the box layout is going to turn out on this one. So we're going to be uh, continuing with that and then we're going to have like the container over here. So in order to work on the first one, what we need is a row. And under the row, we have like a column and we're going to write welcome to React. Let me do it this one. Welcome to React JS. React JS. So we're going to write that one over here. Welcome to React JS. All right. So this is going to be the very first one. So if we go back to the React app that we are having, we have a problem. Okay. So that might be a problem over here, probably. So row and call. Going to add it here. Um, and we're going to go back. And again, row is not defined. So this one is from the previous one, probably, because we have defined it. Yep, that one is from the previous. Okay, so the uh, uh, welcome to the React JS is going to be uh, here. Um, this one is basically like the very first one. This was like easy. It is. It has like only one row and one column. So let's move to the second one. And I'm going to have row. And we're going to have like two columns. So this one is the one on the left. And we're going to have like a column that's going to be on the right. So if I save that and then get here, then you can see from the wider uh, screen that I'm having, some of it's going to be, the, some content is going to be just on the left and some content is going to be just on the right. Actually, we can take out like the button, which was coming from the previous one. So just so that we can have like a cleaner area to work on. So we have like the welcome to React.js on the top and then the left part of it's going to be just over here. The right part's going to be just over there. Let's add like a couple of content over here so that we can clearly see uh, how it would work out. So I'm going to uh, lower um, Ipsum. Uh, and we're going to go here. And I'm going to pretty much copy one of them. Uh, okay. 
sorry, there was like another one that I use. So um, oops, um, copy paste. That's the one that I use most of the time. Yeah, this one. All right, so for this, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to pretty much paste it here. And uh, for those of you who don't know, like the Lord of Ipsum, this one is like a, a common go-to place if you want to have like a bunch of content on your page. So that's going to use as a placeholder. Now you can see like I have added a bunch of content over here and then primarily you can see that it is half and a half, 50% uh, of it is going to be taken by the one on the left and 50% of it is going to be just taken by the one on the right. And um, if you remember like on a bootstrap, it's going to be just a 12 column uh, container. And in that, the amount that you're going to give on the columns is going to determine like the width uh, of that one. So out of the 12, if I'm going to give it like six, it means it's going to be, um, I'm giving it like 50%. If I'm giving it three, then it's going to be 12 by three. That's going to be just, I'm giving it like one fourth of it. So if I want to make this one like as, um, you know, like smaller and this one to be just a little bit larger, then the way how we're going to do that is we're going to provide the, um, the over here, we're going to provide like the property called either excess, which stands for like for the smaller ones or the, M, uh, the, uh, MD, which is going to start for like the medium or the LG, which stands for like the large. And that, that would be corresponding to what kind of device that you want it to be. Um, uh, and when, you know, like what kind of device would the value would be appropriate to. So if we are giving like the excess, then that's going to be just the minimum. So I can provide excess and then let's say three. And for the other one, I can provide, for example, excess, equals actually by default it's going to take the other one so if i say like nine over here what it means is we're going to be just giving it like um only three out of the 12 is going to be just given for this one and then the rest is going to be just applicable for this and we can have also more i can say md and then i can pass um for this one let's say six and what i'm saying when we are doing like this one is when it is on the medium screen then just do 50% of this one. But whereas when it is on the case of like the uh, smaller screen, like a mobile device or something, then just give only like the third of like the 12 uh, from this one. And that is most of the time, like you might switch it, like you want to have like the wider space, like on, on the smaller one so that all the content is going to be just viewed. And as the screen gets bigger, then you want to give it like a, a, partial, a partial part of it. Uh, but you can see that this is quite possible and then automatically it's going to be just doing like the media query for you, per, the kind of thing, you know. Uh, we can stick with that the excess for this uh, purpose because the list that we can assign is going to be just the excess and then, you know, just all of them. If you haven't assigned anything, that this is going to be just the uh, determining factor.